guys welcome or welcome back to jasmine unfiltered so in today's video we are going to be doing a night routine but a very like realistic one for my current nights in the new house and everything like that so if you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe down below to my channel that helps out so much it literally means the world to me come join the family i would love to have you a part of it and without further ado let's get on with the video I don't know how I'm going to film this video without you guys like seeing a lot of my room. I guess you guys will get to see quite a bit of my room in this video. But I will be doing a room tour someday soon. But I need to get everything done because it's not exactly how I like it to be. But if you guys didn't know, I just moved in to a new house about a month ago. I've basically just been personalizing it and creating it to like what I want it to look like. But... Yeah, for today's night routine, we are going to be very realistic. I've been sleeping at like midnight every single night. It's currently 5 p.m. when I'm filming this. And we're just going to slowly unwind for the day. Okay, one thing I do not do every single night before I go to sleep, but I do sometimes every now and then, is I journal and keep track of my spendings and my savings so how much i'm spending and saving money wise this is 2022 on it i literally love this i got it from universal store and it's literally helped me so much like when it comes to like reflecting on months and staying on top of like my work another thing that i use is called notion um you guys would 100 percent know that if you guys have seen like some other vlogs something that i do just before i go to sleep and you guys will see me do it later on in this vlog where i literally just journal everything and anything about my day pre-uploading a video for you guys for a filtered friday one of my spotify playlists and just listen to some music on my speaker so I usually post my Instagram post at around 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. at night. Figure out when to post the rest. In the meantime, I'm gonna go on my phone and create a reel. I've been creating a whole bunch of real ideas, writing it down on paper, and then basically trying to figure out when to post them all. I was sick for a whole entire week and I had nothing to do, so I started focusing on Instagram and YouTube, and I'm just starting to grow even more. So, it just makes my room feel warmer. <laughs> Listen to music, it's what I do most nights. Like, when I don't have anything on, I will literally just listen to music in my bed. Maybe talk to a couple of people, maybe not. Oh, it got so messed up. We started off so damn right. With Pat. But you left the place that we called love. I still remember that night. Yeah. I am going to take a shower now. Whew. I'm going to take a shower. Um, after my shower, we will make my iced coffee. Um, I was just watching YouTube before and honestly, I think that's all I'm gonna really do tonight It's either I watch YouTube or I watch Ruby and then I do some journaling before I go to sleep to just get everything off my mind and kind of like down onto paper Even though I type up my journal every night. I don't actually write it out because I hate my handwriting So like I'll have a mental breakdown because my handwriting so bad <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. Um, my eyes are puffy because I had a little bit of a crying session, but this is a realistic and a very relatable night routine. So if you guys have been here for a while on my channel, you would know that I have still made the whipped iced coffee trend from TikTok from 2020, like almost every single, like... Well, not every single day of my life, but like it's been a long time since I've made a batch of iced coffee on my channel, but also like myself, like I haven't made a batch of iced coffee since the old house. So it's been a good month and a half, two months that I've made an iced coffee batch. I'm going to teach you guys how to make it because some of you might know, but some of you won't. Stainless steel bowl or just a small bowl. Get some instant coffee. I always use different instant coffees. So this is the one I'm using today. Um, it's the dark blend 
from Nescafe. Usually I usually, ugh, I can't speak. Usually I use the mild blends, not the dark. So I'm not going to put too much in, but I basically take a tablespoon. And because this is a dark blend, I'm going to do one and a half tablespoons. But usually I do two tablespoons. You get your white sugar. You need to use white sugar. You can't use brown sugar or anything else. Trust me, I've, I've experimented and it doesn't work. I put two because I like sweet coffee, I put two tablespoons of white sugar. But because I did one and a half of coffee, I'll do one and a half of sugar. Is turn on the kettle. Wait for this to bubble up. You need an electric feeder. Your mixture should look like that. You need boiling hot water. And you put in a little bit. Literally, not even that much. Less than a tablespoon. That was probably too much. Um, just to like cover the mixture so it goes to water. You whisk it up on high speed. By the way, it's like 9.30 at night. If you're new to my channel, then you probably wouldn't know this, but coffee is actually kind of something that calms me down and kind of relaxes me at night. Yes, it's got caffeine in it, and it probably does not help you sleep whatsoever because caffeine keeps you awake. The consistency should be be like that super duper like fluffy almost like a cake mixture this just makes me so happy like i literally haven't made iced coffee in so long all right let's make this iced coffee so you got the ice in your cup and then you put in a bit of your whipped iced coffee and you top it up with milk you probably need a bit more milk than that i haven't had iced coffee in so long and this just made my night completely <laughs> also i want you guys to know that it's okay to have you know little breakdowns and mental health days like this is me being completely unfiltered like one thing that i really wanted to do is learn to sleep earlier and probably sleep at around like 10 or 10 30 but um i was talking to one of my girlfriends ella about this and i've actually kind of found comfort i feel like in the last couple of years after the hour of 10 p.m. I feel like after 10 p.m. is when the house is quiet. I can finally think about things. There's no cars zooming past on the street. You know, it's just you and yourself in your bedroom and you can kind of like just journal out your thoughts, really think at that time and listen to music. And 10 p.m. is when I want to have my dance parties in my room with my LED light. It is the prime time for me. And I don't think that I'll be able to learn to sleep earlier just because that is like the time where I feel like almost like the safest, you know? You feel so safe and secure. I always feel that way at nighttime and I've felt like that throughout high school as well. I feel like year 11, year 12, you probably saw it in my old videos. Like I'd pull all nighters and like, I'd always stay up pretty late on a school night because I couldn't sleep at a normal like early time. Found comfort staying up between 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. because that was when I could really like think and get creative and write about things and you know plan things out for the week. You're allowed to feel down in the dumps but like just always remember to collect yourself and being completely real and unfiltered because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube aren't. I feel like a lot of people don't open up enough to their subscribers and their followers and you know they don't actually connect with the person that's on the other side of the screen that's an iced coffee chat with me you're doing great if you can't have a night routine or a proper morning routine because you find it hard to get out of bed in the morning that's okay you know just try and get up earlier like by 30 minutes every morning or every week try and wake up an hour earlier to get yourself into a routine and make a habit. Yeah, I think if you find comfort at nighttime like I do, then I think it's absolutely okay to stay up every night and not really have a proper night routine because I don't really have a proper one and that's why I wanted to create this video. Oh, so nice. I don't know if this video is gonna blow up as much as my story time did, but oh my gosh, my story time video that I posted four days ago when I'm filming this, 
has already gotten 630 views. That's crazy for this channel. Like that's actually, that's like proper progress for this channel. Like that's actually ridiculous. Thank you. Like if you watch that video, I really appreciate it. This is my page that I use on Notion. It's just called Daily Affirmations and Reflections. It's mainly reflections. I don't really do affirmations anymore, but I talk about life and I just kind of rant about everything and anything. You'll see here, I've got like a whole bunch of little tags of like everything and then I put the date. So today is the 23rd of May, 2022. Truth is I was never in love. Now that I've had a real taste of what a healthy love should be. 10.45 when I'm filming this. Um, I think I'm honestly just going to watch YouTube before I go to sleep and relax. And hope you guys enjoyed this little night routine. It was super realistic and super just <laughs> honest and like unfiltered for me because to be fair, I don't really have a night routine and I honestly think that it's okay not to have one and not to like, you know, be put together every second of every day. If you like this video, definitely subscribe down below to my channel. I'd love to have you a part of Jasmine Unfiltered. It literally means the world to me when someone subscribes and it honestly makes my day. I really hope that this is like a safe, happy place where you can come onto my channel and, you know, feel at ease and also like, you know, smile and like laugh at my videos. Like I really, really hope I can be that person for you guys. But yeah. I love you so much. I'll see you guys with another video very, very soon. Bye. As well, don't forget to do me a favor and make someone smile today. You should smile every day.